All right. Very good, sir. I'll tell Mr. Kinlan you're here. Thank you. You Dalzell? Yes. I'm Jimmy Kinlan. How do you do? What's on your mind? Miss Manton asked me to get some letters from you. Read it. When I get the letters. Read it, I said, while you're still helping. Very well. Oh, uh, by the way, <laughs> uh, there was something funny that I wanted to ask you about. Uh, in 1929, you made a total gross income tax return of $65,000. What's that to you? But you were given one check alone for $120,000. Actual total gross income, $970,000. How many pennies am I off the exact figure? This radio is awfully loud. I want it. Where did you pick up that tax bill? From the man who paid you the 120,000. Uh, the cancel check is in my safety deposit vault, where the police will find it if anything happens to me. That check is six years old. Why'd you hold out till now? I'm not a federal man. How much do you want? The letters. Lots of things we don't like that we have to take. The reason I'm alive today is because I'm smart enough to know when to take it. Here you are. Thank you. Good night. Oh, wait a minute. What about the check? Oh, I'll keep that if you don't mind. You can trust me. Well, it ain't exactly business, is it? Strictly business. That check is the lock that keeps the mountain matter a closed book. And we close it just in time. I had to stop Tennant from printing a story about you and the lady. He's too nosy, that guy. Maybe you ought to be rubbed uh, out. Isn't that sort of thing uh, against the law? Flash from the News Radio Bureau. The Prince Theater tonight was thrown into confusion at the end of the first act when Mary Smith, the star of Midnight, suddenly disappeared. We will now return you to Nick Price and his orchestra. Well, there's a story for Tennant. The mysterious Mary Smith disappeared. Or kidnapped, maybe. What do you know about that? I don't know anything about it. Oh, I was here all night, and I can prove it. My friend, the question was purely academic.